Two Worlds is a high fantasy action role playing game developed by Polish video game developer Reality Pump and published by Topware Interactive in Europe and by South Peak Games in North America for the Xbox 360 and Microsoft Windows. A sequel, Two Worlds 2, was released in Europe on November 9, 2010, and in North America on January 25, 2011. Gameplay The game takes place in a real-time three-dimensional fantasy landscape. As such it has drawn comparison with The Elder Scrolls IV, Oblivion, much like in Oblivion and Gothic 3, the gameplay is nonlinear. The player is free to explore the game world, accepting side quests at will. There is however, a core quest, centering on rescuing the protagonist's sister, who is being held for ransom by mysterious forces who are scheming to open the tomb of Aziral, the god of fire. The game does not utilize fixed character classes like other role-playing games. As the character gains experience and levels, it is possible to invest gained attribute points into any attribute, leading to a variety of game play styles and approaches. The world in which the game takes place is called Antelor. While traveling through the game the player will encounter new teleports, caves, villages, and other locations, and these travels are recorded by the in-game mini-map. Teleports allow rapid travel between explored regions. Horses are available for the player to ride as well as other animals, creatures, though a number of commentators have lamented the clumsy controls when mounted. Death in the game leads to resurrection at a nearby shrine, these shrines are distributed across the game world, and also replenish health when the player comes in sufficient proximity. However, the highest difficulty of the game features a permanent death feature. There are various creatures in two worlds. Unlike other CRPGs with wilderness areas, enemies will not respawn. Most of the non-wilderness areas are densely populated, beyond the main quest there is no set storyline to follow, the player is free to choose to complete the quests of his, her liking, and explore at will. The player may choose to act as a righteous hero and be honored amongst the population, or to be delightfully devilish and feared, through reputation gained by completing certain quests. However, the path chosen will have consequences on the outcome of the game. Topic. Alchemy Two Worlds has an alchemy system that allows the player to combine ingredients to make potions, weapon enhancements, traps, and bombs. Spending skill points on the alchemy skill or using more ingredients will result in more powerful potions. Ingredients can be found as plants in the wild, the body parts of animals and monsters that have been slain, and minerals and gems taken as loot or collected off the ground. Some potions can have permanent effects such as a boost to strength, health, dexterity, magic etc. Factions There are seven factions within the game for which the player can complete quests to gain reputation. These are the Brotherhood, the Society, the Merchants Guild, the Gariza, the Necromancers, the House Skeldon, and the Karga Clan. The Brotherhood is a mercenary society. In the main cities of the game their location can be identified by their signature red banners. Brotherhood locations in cities will usually have a trainer that offers to teach the various combat skills for a small fee, and Brotherhood shops will have the largest selections of weapons and armor. The higher the rep in the Brotherhood the cheaper it is to buy supplies. The society is two worlds answer to the Guild of Mages seen in most RPGs. In the main cities their location can be identified by blue banners. The society locations will usually have a trainer that offers to teach the various schools of magic for a small fee. Society shops will have robes, staves, and spells for sale. The Merchants Guild is a guild of traders and merchants. In the main cities their location can be identified by banners emblazoned with scales. The shops of the Merchant Guild offer a general assortment of goods, the higher the reputation in the Merchant's Guild the cheaper it is to buy supplies. The Gariza is the equivalent of the Thieves' Guild. The members wear distinctive red hoods and the Gariza shops are a good source for lock picks and other thievery-related goods. Gariza trainers offer knowledge in the stealthy arts. The higher the reputation the more you can sell your goods for. The necromancers are the only source that will teach the ability to use the necromancy school of magic, but are generally shunned by polite society. The society makes a point of stopping necromancers from completing their goals. 
The House Skeldon and the Karga clan are two competing factions in the northern reaches of the human half of the world. The Karga clan are the former ruling house that was supplanted by the king and council with the House Skeldon. The player can choose to work with any faction to achieve specific goals in the main quest. As is typical for the genre, players generally earn reputation with a faction by completing appropriate quests. Topic: <inaudible> Regression. Should a player decide that they are unhappy with their ability and skill point distribution, there are NPCs called skill changers in some of the larger cities that offer a regression which allows redistribution of some skill points for a certain price. Some of the skill changers can refund more points for a greater cost, depending on the character's level and amount of experience. Multiplayer A multiplayer element is included, though it is not of the massively multiplayer online game type. Activities include horse racing, combat and quests. Single player and multiplayer characters are kept separate and not shared between modes. While the Xbox 360 version is limited to 8 players, the PC version allows a significantly greater number. However, they must be grouped into parties of no more than 8. Using the multiplayer element in two worlds allows the user to change race, neither this nor the race of elves are present in single player mode. Marketing Two other versions of the game have been released. The Collector's Edition was released on August 23, 2007 in the US. It features the game, two bonus cards with codes to unlock exclusive weapons, a bonus disc, map and a handbook. The Royal Edition was released in Europe for the PC and Xbox 360 on September 7, 2007. It comes with a t-shirt, marked with the Two Worlds logo, a deck of playing cards, a poster with the world map, letter opener only available in the PC version, and a bonus disc. Two downloadable content packs were released. Tainted Blood was released in March 13, 2008 and Curse of Souls was released in April 3, 2008. The original game and the two expansions were packed together and sold as Two Worlds, Epic Edition. It was released in August 19, 2008 in North America and in September 12, 2008 in Europe. Reception Upon initial release, Two Worlds received mixed to negative reviews, the PC version gained an average critic score of 66% while the Xbox 360 version received more negative feedback with an average critic score of 51%. GameSpot gave Two Worlds a 7.5 for the PC version, and a 7 for the Xbox 360 version. IGN gave the PC version 7.3, and the Xbox 360 version 6.8, while GameSpy gave the game 1 star. Gameplasma gave the game a similar 7.4 for PC but a 5 for the Xbox 360. The game was criticized for its poor graphics, interface and voice acting, which was written and recorded by Reality Pump themselves rather than by professional writers and an audio outsourcer studio though the game still featured professional voice actors. In Germany however, where Two Worlds was first released, reception was much more positive, receiving scores between 80% and 93% by over 50 different websites and reviewers. In OXM, Two Worlds was given a score of 6.0.SINCE release. There have been numerous patches to improve the gameplay, graphics, and controls. The most recent patch brings the game to version 1.7b. Hyper's Daniel Wilkes commends the game for its huge map, great character creation and lots to explore." However, he criticizes the game for being "...not finished, buggy as hell and having the worst ending ever." In August 2008, a new version of the game including two multiplayer add-ons was released. The game's voice acting has been poorly reviewed, alongside the decision to refer to "...creeping evil," as the taint. Related media A deck of 55 cards, 52 playing cards and three jokers in a plastic box was released on December 19, 2006. The cards contained images of characters and scenes from the game. 
A letter opener in the shape of the sword Kilgoran designed by artist Kit Ray was released on November 22, 2006. The handle was made out of cast metal and the blade of polished steel false edged. The overall length was 10 minus 7 eighths, with the blade length at 7 minus 1 half, and a thickness of 1 8. Topic. Soundtrack The official Two Worlds soundtrack was released on a single disc on October 14, 2007 by Topware. It was composed and arranged by Harold Faltermeyer and featured Ambermoon. The music was played by the musicians of the MGM Grand Orchestra and contained a mix of gothic, classical, and rock. The title song, Play the Game, was sung by Kira and included various remix versions. A second soundtrack titled Two Worlds, the maxi single was released on a single disc on August 30, 2007 by Topware. It was composed and arranged by Harold Faltermeyer and featured Ambermoon. It included the title song, Play the Game, sung by Kira and three other songs in new arrangements. <laughs>